Capricorn, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment. And then we will take a look into the events coming up for you in the next few months. All right, let's start with your main energy. <laughs> okay. If there was a card from this deck that I would associate to Capricorns, this would be it. Your first message today is, I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. There is something that you're trying to figure out right now, something that might be impacting you in ways that you cannot fully understand at the moment. Sometimes you might feel as though nothing really sticks in your life. Even when you achieve something, even when you finally see the results of your hard work, eventually it ends up slipping off your hands, making you think that nothing lasts long enough to make you feel like it's really yours. But there is a deeper meaning to what you're going through at the moment, a meaning that can actually unlock what has been waiting to come towards you, but only at the right time. I feel that something is coming in, something that will restore that balance and that happiness that you might be looking for right now. So let's see what the meaning is. Let's see what the overall message is about. And let's start with your reading. Okay. Mm. Yep. Speaking of discomfort, Seven of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So we definitely see some very powerful energies in your reading today. Starting with the Lovers, Death Rebirth, the Wheel of Fortune, and the High Priestess. But it's clear right away that you might be trying to come out of a very strong connection. Five of Cups and the Lovers. These are two cards that you really do not want to see together. You know, even for those of you who might have gone through this years ago, the healing process can really take longer than it takes to physically end a connection. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter how many relationships you might have afterwards. It takes a while to let go of someone who meant so much to you at some point in your life. This really feels like a moment in time which was so powerful that it's shockwaves are still impacting you today somehow and we'll need to understand why you know this lover's card can be very tricky because it truly gives you everything your soul can ask for when you are in that energy nothing else really matters and for a capricorn this is really rare the money the success the goals <laughs> Everything goes out of the window because honestly, this has the power to make you feel alive in a way that it's almost intoxicating. It makes you feel happy. It raises you up. But everything that goes up must come down, unfortunately. And if you're not prepared for that, the fall can really hurt. This is an energy that has a tendency to occupy a lot of space in your mind. And right now, you're trying to claim that space back for yourself. You know, for some of you, when you think of this past connection, it almost feels like someone else's life, as if it never really happened to you. It feels so distant in your mind, but still so close in your heart that 
it just might be really confusing right now, not understanding why this is happening. Even if it's not a constant, it comes and goes. And you wonder why this is still the case after so much time has passed and after you realizing, by the way, that you deserve much better. Then why am I still thinking about you from time to time? Seven of Swords, you're definitely trying to hide it as much as possible. You do not want to give it more power than it already has. And right here, there is something that you might not be considering, which is actually that deeper meaning that we're soon going to find out about. Now, in the heart of the reading, Queen of Pentacles and Death Rebirth. You know, I see that either you or the other person, or the both of you, honestly, didn't think that this was really going to end. Death, uh, death rebirth reversed. You might have got used to a back and forth, which determined the fact that every time the two of you would fight and push each other away, eventually you would always come back together. You know, just like a rubber band. Yes, you can stretch it and take the two ends as far as you can, but the truth is that the farther they will be, the more powerful the comeback is going to be once they are released. Someone here was thinking, eventually something always brings me back to this connection, but this time something worked differently. It feels like an event, a message, a realization, something that you might have discovered here with this Ace of Swords, which might have just cut that rubber band and you ended up getting so distant from each other geographically or emotionally that right now it feels impossible to find a way to be back together again. What before was a certainty and perhaps even a blessing, you know, we will always find each other again. Now instead, it feels more like a curse. You realize that someone can feel present in your life even without the physical presence. And it's just not where you want to be right now, Capricorn. Not where you want to be mentally. This is where you want to be. You want to be in control of your environment. You want to really live in the present and not being stuck. Because, you know, whether you know it or not, this energy creates a dynamic for which you might be stuck. Yes, walking with your body towards the future, but your head is still looking backwards at times and you might not even know about it. You know, it's almost like when you look at your phone, when you're looking at your screen, you might decide to look at the content that the phone is showing you, or you can change the position of your eyes just slightly and look at your reflection in the phone. That's exactly what you find yourself doing here, Capricorn. You look at the future, but then sometimes you find yourself looking at the reflection that the past has on your present. And it's so easy to do that you might not even notice. Now, right here we have the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Swords, and the Sun as well, okay. so. What I see right here is that, speaking of time and space, it's now time to make space for yourself. It does feel like you have been stuck in a limbo. Something that perhaps was meant to happen recently, or something that you wish it would happen right now, it's still not happening. And it might make you feel at times as though you are waiting to start living your life again. It feels like you are on pause and you know, you might actually be. But this Four of Swords right here is your key to movement. You need to make space for yourself, Capricorn, right now. You need to nurture yourself more than you've ever done before. Love yourself. Do what makes you feel good. You need to feel good in your skin. Why? The Wheel of Fortune talks about some sort of redo coming up. This is going to happen after a lesson has been learned. This is a run of good luck that maybe you were not expecting for anymore at this point. Uh, this talks about events, messages, outcomes that deep down you give up on. 
But we see right here, I mean, you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. This is not random. This is telling you that everything you went through has been for a specific reason. And after you realize what this Four of Swords and this High Priestess really entails for you, there is something coming in which will restore balance, will give you the element that you have been waiting for. And this time, Capricorn, it's going to last forever. This time is going to stick and really be yours. So we see overall that this was definitely necessary. It had to happen because you had to learn something right here, which we don't see yet, but that will come to you with this high priestess energy a very important message that it's going to make you see things from a different point of view. What is this? So let's discover what this is and let's start clarifying all the messages. Let's read into the other person's energies as well and see if they also feel this connection alive still today. Then most importantly, let's look into what you should focus on with this Four of Swords, High Priestess and how your life is going to transform once this Wheel of Fortune and Sun finally show up into your environment. Let's see what you should expect in the near future Capricorn and how it's bound to evolve in this year ahead. If you want to dive deeper into the messages Capricorn, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading Capricorn. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the upcoming events is the chariot. This is coming at you like a train. The chariot talks about endorphins, talks about something that it's going to make you extremely happy. This is a happy moment that is about to manifest for you after this high priestess and four swords energy has been figured out. This is very important because you see what awaits for you on the other side and you understand how necessary this was to happen in order to get where you were truly meant to be Capricorn. Right here you see something that honestly a combination of cards that I don't see often. Death, Will of Fortune, Sun, the Chariot and that lovers is still connecting to your future somehow. So we'll have to understand why. First of all what we see is that we need to understand what this key this message is going to be about and before clarifying the high priestess and the four of swords i want to see what is the energy on the other side of the picture let's see what this person is feeling right now if they are connecting to you as well and what's going on in their mind and then we will immediately focus on your near and distant future for now let's clarify this lover's energy What? Oh, this is why you are still thinking about this. I was not expecting this from them, but honestly, now that I see it, it doesn't surprise me, it surprised me as much. What we're seeing right here is definitely someone who's still...